Hello Brick Lovers, Kubrick here back with another video. I'd like to welcome you once again to my first building series in which we are building a castle Timok called the Siege of Bricks. This is now the third episode of this series and we already made some significant progress towards the completion of this mock. If you haven't seen the previous parts of this build series then I strongly encourage you to check both of them out. I will put a link in the description below so you can catch up with those videos and then come back here for part 3. Go ahead, I'll wait. Oh, and if you are new to the series, then you should know that this build is made as a part of a collaboration I am making with another YouTuber, Edge of Bricks, whose army will be attacking the city walls that I am building. If you want to see both sides of the collab, then you should definitely check out his building series as well, because he has some great stuff in there, like the showcase and the tutorial for his trebuchet, that will be his main weapon against my army. Now before we jump into today's segment, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel as you can be a part of making this channel grow. And the more support I get from you guys, the more content I can make for you to enjoy. With all that out of the way, let's see what I was doing for the last few weeks or so. So as you probably already noticed, I finally finished the rock work and the pad that goes in front of the walls. I think the overall look of the mountainside turned out quite nice. I even finished all the small details that were supposed to be there, like plants and bits of snow. I'm not saying I won't change anything here, but for now I consider this part to be done. As much as I enjoy making rock work, I am so happy I can move on with the build and make something else. It was over a long process of building and rebuilding, but during this time I made some work in progress photos for you to see how it was made step by step. And as you can see I already started to make the back side of the mock. At first I was planning to make the build just one sided because the back wouldn't have to be shown anywhere, but some circumstances occurred that made me change my mind. I can't say nothing for sure yet because we all live in certain times and anything can happen, but there is a slight chance that we could be able to display this color physically on a convention. And if not, then at least you will be able to see what's happening on the inside. To finish the sides of the build, I decided to make a black border on the inside of the castle, while the pad and the rocks were cut at the ends. And I think that turned out awesome. It's a new way to finish the side of the mock I came up with, and I think a much better one than a black border all around the build. Now if you're wondering what are the lights for, well that's my little secret, but I can promise you that you will like it a lot. Ok, now let's switch sides and see what started happening over here. Yep, I started building up the walls as they should be and I think the texture is looking quite nice. A mix of plates, bricks, studs, headlights, cheese slopes, whatever I could find that was in light bluish grey color. And one thing that I really enjoy while building Castle Team Mugs is that I can use all grey without any worries that the color looks off because it gives the build some more character. Looking up, I listened to a friend's advice and decided to make the medals a bit higher, so that it would be more historically correct and cover the whole figure while standing behind them. Now the walls should be around 6 studs thick and finish with a similar texture on the inside of the city. Between the light bluish grey bricks there will also be a darker filling, but I'm not quite sure how will I make it yet. One last thing I did that will be on the inside of the castle were prototypes for lanterns that will be a neat little detail to put on the inside. Ok guys, I think this covers the progress for this chapter. What do you think about the build so far? A lot of work is still ahead, but the mock is starting to take shape of what it's supposed to be. Most importantly, we've finished the mountain that the castle is situated on, so from now on it's just building the actual walls. I think that by the next episode I should have most of the walls finished, if I have enough light grey bricks to make the whole structure. But if not, then we will have another haul in the next episode, assuming the deliveries will be quick. Then we will jump to the inside of the city. Not sure what will be there yet, but maybe you have some suggestions. Let me know your ideas in the comments below. Anyway guys, this concludes the third chapter of building the Siege of Bricks. I hope you liked the build so far, and if you do, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. Until next time, stay healthy and keep it brickin'.